As promised, we're at the range. We're discussing choosing the correct cartridge for your firearm. We're also going to discuss choosing the right bullet, bullet construction, for your intended application. So if you're just new to firearms and you've purchased the gun, obviously you want to make sure you understand what caliber you purchased, what cartridge you purchased. And there's different firearms, but they're all marked properly. You know, one example is a handgun. You know, a lot of the markings are going to be on the barrel. So if you close the slide, you can see here where this particular one is a 10mm auto. You know, bolt action rifles, the barrel's going to be stamped. The ammunition boxes will identify the cartridge by its type and proper name and the ammunition itself will be marked on the head stamp to match that. So make sure you understand every time you go to the range that you have the proper ammunition with the proper gun. It can get confusing for new hunters and new shooters. You know, one example would be, I'm shooting a 7mm. Well, which 7mm? There's the 7mm Remington Magnum, the 7mm Ultra Mag, 7mm 08. So this is just one example where you need to ensure that you have the exact ammunition type for your firearm. You know, even experienced shooters, it's easy. Most guys take multiple guns to the range. You've got a box of ammo or your ammo bag. Make sure you're keeping it separate. You're keeping it marked properly. If you're a hand loader, make sure you keep it in good marked cases so you don't get them mixed up. Another thing to keep in mind is magazines. You know, one example would be like 6.5 Creedmoor 308. Whether it's a bolt action with a detachable magazine or a gas gun, a lot of those share the same magazine. You know, 300 Blackout, 5.56 or 223, they share the same magazines. Most shooters probably own both. So it's one thing to keep in mind if you're taking both of those to the range, keep the guns and ammo separate to ensure that you're gonna have safe, reliable performance every time. So let's cover bullet construction and what that really means for your application. You know, if we have a lightly constructed varmint bullet, what we're talking about there is a jacketed cord bullet that's gonna hit at usually a higher velocity and it's gonna have you know, more of a frangible effect. It's gonna come apart, it's gonna expand, the jacket's gonna break apart. It's gonna work really well on small, light, thin skin, small game. You know, little varmints, you know, prairie dogs, things like that. You know, obviously, if we're stepping up to bigger game, say deer or antelope, sometimes that's not gonna work out too well. And depending on the range and where you hit, you know, it can make a big difference. And that's why you wanna to go to something that's a little bit tougher constructed especially when we start talking about deer and up to elk and big game. That's where we want to go with a tougher constructed big game hunting bullet. There's different options there. We have lead core bullets, bonded lead core bullets, monolithics, which are expanding copper or other solid materials. And they're going to ensure, you know, reliable expansion, but deeper penetration and higher weight retention. That's going to ensure you're going to be able to reach the vitals and penetrate through to be able to ethically take the bigger animals. Another option is a match projectile. You know, if you're out there, you're shooting long range, you're shooting competition, you're shooting steel and paper, you're not as worried about at all what the terminal effect is. You want accuracy, you want high BC, you want reliable performance and consistency, and you're probably worried about more price because you're probably shooting higher volumes of rounds. You know, that's where a match bullet like this match burner comes into play. Typically, they're gonna be jacketed lead core projectiles that are designed for just that shooting long range, shooting accuracy, shooting tight groups, and having good performance at track of play. We've covered a lot today. We hope that the information will help you make an educated decision based on your needs. Like always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact our customer service. We're always here to help.